In this video, I will guide you on how to create and set up a class inside Google Classroom. First thing we need to do is to create a class. So, first step, I click on the plus icon, create a class. I read the instruction uh, and the notice. I, I agree and I click on continue. Now, I need to fill the information. First, the, the only required is to add a class name. A section subject and room are optional. Let's start. I will add uh, the class name. I add section. Uh, subject, for example, education class. Room, for example, A1. And I, then I click on create classroom and wait till the class to be created. Once the class created, this page, the home page of the class will be will open. You will notice here the, that the class I am now in the page of tutorial class I created section A. This is the stream page, stream page where I can announce something to the student, add links, add, uh, add message, uh, add uh, uh, links, Google Drive link, YouTube link. I can share anything and communicate with my students or my colleagues that are sharing with them this class. So this is the stream. Now let's uh, start with the settings of the classroom. I click here on the settings. I will see first the class details that I already filled. The only missing is the class description. I can add the class description. For example, this is a tutorial class to know or to learn how to create Classroom. Below class details, I will see the general. General, it, contain, it contains the invite codes. Invite codes are the ways that I can send to students to join my class. I can uh, send this link, for example, I can copy this link and send it by email via WhatsApp to my students. And once the student click on this link, will be will be will join directly the classroom, or I can share with them the class code. Here, if I click here, I can copy the class code or I can copy the invite link and send it to my students and, uh, and, and the student will use this code or this link to join the class. Uh, below the invitation, invitation codes, I will see the stream setup. The stream setup, the stream. Uh, so I post something to the stream. Uh, so, uh, I can allow students also to post on the stream to, uh, to, um, to comment or I can deny them. So if I, know, um, I need to the teacher only who can post and comment to the post on the stream, I need to change the settings to only teachers can post or comment. Here, if I need to hide notification, show contest notification or to show all detailed info, uh, notifications. So if a student add attachment, it, I will receive a, a Notification. If the student submit late assignment, I will receive a notification. So this is the setup of notification. Show deleted item. So if someone delete item, I can still show. Uh, if I enable this option, I will can see the deleted items. Grading is how to create a grading system and to use it inside classroom to calculate, for example, the final grade. So I can create a grading system. And then at the end of the classroom, I can get the final grade. Let's now save the settings. Now, let's, we created the classroom. We did the setup. Now, if we need to invite the students, as we say, we can invite, send them the invitation link or the class code, and then they, and they can use them to join. Or here, I, if I have the emails of the student, I can click here, invite. For example, I can add the emails, for example, 
And can I add multiple email, for example, and invite them? Let's try to add the now only one student. I will invite the student. Now the invitation will be pending. It will be invited until the student log in inside the classroom and approve the invitation and join the class. This concerning how to invite students. Uh, now, finally, we need to know about classwork. Classwork where we can create uh, assignment, materials, graded assignment. So first step, I need, let's try to categorize, for example, our classroom. For example, uh, let's say we have a topic. For example, first topic, for example, let's say about uh, math. For example, our addition inside math, I can click addition. I created a topic. Now I can create another, another topic, for example, uh, algebra. I can create many topics. Now, for example, I need to add, for example, an assignment. And create, when I click on create, we have the option to create an assignment, to create a quiz assignment, which is graded. I can add a question to the student they can answer. I can add material. For example, in the material, I can add uh, Google Drive, uh, Google, Google Drive video, add PDF, add PowerPoints. Uh, reuse post, if I have, for example, uh, I teach same class, but, but different section, I added a material in, uh, inside uh, for one of the classroom section, I can use reuse post to add, uh, to recopy, to copy it and use it inside my current section. So let's start, for example, I need first to create assignment. When I click create assignment, first step, I can here use for which student now because no no one of my stu of the student joins the class. Here I can say if the uh, assignment is graded or not. If it is not ungraded, I check ungraded. If I need to set a due date to the assignment to be submitted, topic for example uh, algebra. Now I can here add assignment. One, I can here, for example, uh, add description, please solve and, and send the assignment here. I can add, for example, a Google Drive file, a link file. A, for example, I can add YouTube link so that the student receives this file and submit it here. And when I finish, I click on assign or I can schedule the assignment for example if I created now and I need to post it tomorrow at 8 I can schedule it and I can select for example 20 at 8 a.m. and I schedule it so the assignment is now scheduled for tomorrow at 8 so tomorrow at 8 the student will receive the assignment and they can start do it the same, I can, for example, create a question. Uh, for example, uh, short answer uh, for lemons. For example, did you attend last class? I can add it as short answer. I can add it at multiple choice. For example, yes, no. Also here. I can put it as ungraded or it is a graded. I can set a due date, for example, tomorrow. Okay, related to, for example, uh, to addition. And I click on ask. So the student now will receive this is question I need to answer the question. So in general, that's all what we need to know about how to create and set up a Google Classroom. Thank you.